everybody, it's Coaster Crazy 10 and this is going to be a pickups video for the past three weeks. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with my camera autofocusing, so if I seem kind of worn out, I've, I've shot this video like literally three times already. So um, I'm just going to try to get this done really quickly. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be very enthusiastic. I'll try to be. Um, basically, um, the first thing I picked up, my friend from school, she does a yard sale every year to benefit cancer research and she just takes donations. So it was about the yard sale and then anything she gets she uh, donates to cancer research which is pretty cool. And she got a Sega Dreamcast and some games and some controllers. And she knew that I collect games and she just said, hey, if you're interested in any of these games, um, make me an offer on the price, what you think is fair. And I'll probably take it because you know what you're talking about. And I'm like, that's awesome. So I ended up buying one game from her and that's Nightmare Creatures 2. It's a sequel to the one on PS1 and uh, N64. Might have been on Saturn too, I'm not sure. It's a survival horror game with music from Rob Zombie in it. I've heard it's pretty cool. So, um, so yeah, not too bad. Five bucks, that's what I paid, which is not a bad deal at all. Uh, next, we've got a pickup that I got on Monday. I'm shooting this Wednesday. Hopefully I can get it uploaded on Wednesday. Uh, I went to the thrift store. I've been going to the thrift store every morning since I've been home. Uh, they open at 10. And I've been going at 10. And on Monday, I went in and I found this. And I was just like, oh, there's no way. There's no way. And when the lady pulled it down off the shelf and I saw it, I was like, this is just awesome. Um, I got an Atari Lynx Model 2. Really good condition with the battery cover. The screen is excellent. I got this bad boy with a power adapter for 7 bucks, And that is just an awesome deal. Um... I'm really pumped about that. that. That's great. I um, do not have any games with it, so it will not turn on. The, the system will not turn on unless a game is plugged in. Um, so I ordered one off of eBay for like $4, and that's coming in the mail, so hopefully I can test it. But I'd say, based on the fact that it's in really nice condition, I'd say this thing probably works. So for $7 for a working Lynx and a power adapter so I don't have to waste batteries, that is a fantastic deal. So pumped about that. Um, let's see, then to the, this morning, uh, I didn't actually go out yesterday, I slept, but this morning I went to the thrift store, they didn't have anything, I went to Goodwill, and surprise, surprise, they had some stuff. I was blown away that this Goodwill ever even had anything, but I'm not going to complain. I picked up two Genesis games, and they were $2.50 each, because they were actually originally marked 5 bucks, but uh, since... It's Wednesday, it's half off electronics, even though this isn't really technically electronics. They count it as it, so I'm okay with that. First game here is uh, American Gladiators. This game is, this is hilarious. There's the six events, you got the Assault, Powerball, Atlasphere, the Joust, the Wall, and the Eliminator. And if any of you have seen this game, you know, or this show, you know how ridiculous it is. And it's not really worth much, but <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I can't wait to pop this in and play it. It's just going to be ridiculous. Um, television's most innovative sporting event, American Gladiators, is now bigger than life in this all-new Sega Genesis version. All the action, drama, and competitiveness, competitiveness, not competition, competitiveness, are here from the hit television show that plays like a video game come to life. Fix six events, all captured in incredible detail. Nitro, Ice, Laser, Thunder, Gold, Turbo, Zap, Lace, Blaze, and Gemini are here and ready to psych you out of your game. Absolutely ridiculous. I can't wait to play that. The other game I got, I'm actually really excited about. This is a game I've been looking for. And now there's Cool Spot. It's, um, it says it distributed exclusively by Sega, but I believe there's a SNES and an NES version. And it's a 7-Up game. Uh, cool Spot, I guess, is the 7-Up mascot. And it's pretty awesome. It's a side-scrolling platformer. It has some really cool graphics. I'm hoping you guys can see that. It's really cool. So, for 5 bucks total... Not too bad. And then I was about ready to leave, and I saw this on the shelf, and I was just like, um, yes, I will take that. I'm not buying this for me. I'm buying it as a money-making opportunity just because I see a lot of value in this. Um, it's an Xbox 360 controller. Brand new in the box. Um, it's got writing on it, and they pulled off the barcode. But, I mean, it's got the batteries in there and everything, so, you know, what what's not to like? And, I mean, I, this is going for, like, 40 bucks online. So I can sell it for $40, make a $20 profit, bam, 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 didn't even do anything. So 
Yeah, I'm really pumped about this. So I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to get 40 out of this plus shipping. I'll say 45 shipped. So if you're interested at $45 shipped for this thing, and you have a PayPal, you have to have a PayPal if you're going to buy this. I can't have people mailing me money or anything like that. Have to have a PayPal. If you're interested at $45 and have a PayPal, send me a message and we'll work out a deal. Um, yeah. So there's that. That's pretty sweet. And I went to Target. I've been watching a lot of Red South City. I'll put his the, the channel down there. It's a couple guys uh, who collect games. And the way that they get their games, their new games at least, is they go to Target and Walmart and they just look at the prices. And they wait for prices to drop. And they snatch up the games while the prices drop while they still have them in stock, pretty much. And um, that reminded me, there's this game that I really want for the Wii. I know I don't have a Wii, but there's this game that I was really wanting. And uh, they've been selling it for stupid cheap at Target. And uh, I went to my Target and they had it. And it was Sin and Punishment Star Successor for the Wii. And here, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. This is $24.98. I got this for $12.48. It was half off that. Um, I don't know why they're clearing this out. I guess people aren't buying it. But if you have a Wii and you do not have this game, I urge you to go check out your local Target if you're in the U.S. I don't know if they have Target anywhere else, but go check this out at Target. You might be able to still get it for $12.50. It's a great deal, and you really should pick this up if you have a Wii. It's an excellent game, and I can't wait to play it. And then after that, I went to GameStop. I broke down and went to GameStop. I have a reason, though. I needed some games to play. I'm going on vacation with my family right after Christmas. That's our big Christmas thing. Um, not really getting much else other than that from my parents, and my grandparents are going too. Um, that's kind of everyone's big gift for each other. <laughs> and so I got some games, some PSP games to play for on the way down. And I went in, there was like a list of games I went in like knowing that I wanted, and they actually had one of them there for a pretty reasonable price, and that is uh, Half Minute Hero. And it was 15 but I got 10% off with my Edge card. This is complete in pretty dang good condition. There's a little bit of a rip there, but other than that, it's nice and complete. The idea of this game is it's an RPG that you play in 30 second intervals. Um, you have little missions, and they're 30 seconds long, and that's the whole game. It, says, it claims there's 20 hours of gameplay, so can't go wrong with that. Um, next game that I got, I saw this for $4. All the rest of these games are under 7 bucks. I saw this for $4, and I was like, yes, please, I will take that. That is Gunpei. This is a really early game. It's a puzzle game. It kind of reminds me of Geometry Wars and Luminous, just graphically. Hoping you can see that a little bit. Um, and for $4 for a puzzle game, I could put a couple hours into this and get my money's worth, so... Um, awesome. Next game I got is Gradius Collection. Gradius Collection. Not sure how you want to say it. For $7. This is five games. It's Gradius, Gradius 2, Gradius 3, Gradius 4, and Gradius Gaiden. All on one UMD. That's awesome. That is awesome. For seven bucks, that is fantastic. So pumped about this. Uh, I just started playing Gradius. I think I was playing Gradius 3 on the SNES yesterday, and it is hard, but I didn't really give it a whole lot of time, um, and it takes me a while to get into my shmups. So this would be a good, uh, good time sink on the road. Happy with that. Next game here is this game called Every Extent Extra. It's from the makers of Luminous. And it looks kind of like Geometry Wars. It's like a top shmup thing, but it's in like a contained space. It's pretty cool. Five dollars. Why not? Last game here is N+. For those of you who remember this game, it was a Flash game on the PC. It still is. They ported it to the PSP. And it's awesome. It is, it is a great game. It's really hard. I don't know how the PSP port stands up, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing this. Um, some good memories with this, so it'll be good to sink my teeth into that on vacation. So there you go, guys. Those are my pickups for the past three weeks. Um, hope you enjoyed this. I'm really hoping that it didn't have any autofocusing issues. If it does, I'm just going to upload it. I'm, I can't reshoot this video a fifth time. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I have some videos recorded, so I'll upload one other one in a few days, and I'll see you guys then.